Jen here. Um, today we're going to work with a, um, an interesting effect in Illustrator. We're going to take a 3D drawing, or half of it anyway, and we're going to convert it to a 3D uh, product, or basically project, uh, an item. And um, we're going to let Illustrator do the work for us. So <clears throat> first thing I want to do, you'll notice <clears throat> that I've started with a, a drawing, or a half of a drawing, of a wine bottle. Um, whenever you're using the 2D, which is to take a flat drawing, basically, and you want to convert it to a 3D image, um, if you want Illustrator to do the work for you, you're going to have to um, start with half of the drawing. So that's going to be one of the things you're going to do. I'm also going to start where I, I want to, when I, when I outline this half of this drawing, I'm going to use a stroke, but I'm not going to use a fill. So I want to get rid of my, whoops, it is. Okay. We're going to fill it in just a minute, but right now I'm going to start with just the stroke. And actually, I don't really need the stroke, so I'm going to get rid of that, too, because we can draw without the stroke, too. So I'm going to start out uh, creating my points. So I'm going to use my pen tool, and I'm going to create my points. And you can kind of see I'm kind of going kind of quick just to create these points that I'm going to come back and I'm going to clean up in a little bit. So pretty quickly, I've got my points created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that color of that bottle. I'm just going to make it a nice purple color. I'm going to fill that so you can see it. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to zoom in on this so that I can see it, so that I can adjust my points. Okay, And um, I'm going to use my direct select tool to adjust the points about where I want them. And you can kind of see that I'm pulling that out a little bit. I'm going to come in around that in just a second. This one definitely needs to be pulled out here. Now I'm going to go uh, back to my pen tool area and I'm going to use the convert tool. I'm going to soften this just a little bit and round it out so it gives it a little bit of a round edge here. Oops, it is. Missed that one. Pull this one so that it gives me a rounder look on the bottle. And um, probably want to soften this one up a little bit too. Okay, so that gives us a little look. I'm going to come back to my pen tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see a little closer to my edge here. I've got an extra <coughs> part here, so we'll just move that over so that it's nice and straight. Move this up so that it's straight. So that when my 3D effect comes in, It'll give my bottle, it'll give the top a nice rounded look. And so this looks pretty good. This looks okay here. And so now I'm going to zoom back out again. I've got my bottle filled, and so now what I'm ready to do is go to the effects, go to 3D effects, and I'm going to revolve, I want Illustrator to revolve this. First thing I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to tell it what to revolve, so I have to make sure that it's selected. So make sure that you're, um, you're selected, and uh, or that the part that you want to go to the 3D is selected. You're going to go up to 3D, and then I'm going to revolve that. It's going to bring up the uh, 3D revolve options, and I'm just going to click on Preview, and I'm going to let it, there we go, there's my wine bottle. Okay, and um, um, you can kind of see that it has... Um, uh, drawn it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And so now I can whoops, stretch it up a little bit more if I want the bottle to be a little taller. And I'm all set. And so now I've got my got the bottle drawn. So now I need the label. So what I'm going to do with the label is um, I'm going to click my rectangle tool. Now for the label I want the fill to be I'm going to use my panel up here at the top. I want the fill to be white and I want the stroke to be black. And so um, we'll just basically, I'm going to draw it off the bottle so that you can kind of see it. I'm also going to make it um, basically about two and a half inches. So two and a half inches wide and a couple inches deep. So I'm using my ruler up here to kind of help me do that. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see this also as I'm drawing it. 
And so basically now, if I click off this, you'll see that I've got my label drawn. And so I'm going to use a nice little decor graphic that I've got. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to click on it. You'll see that when it opens up in the panel, it opens up on a new layer. So basically, I've got the decor um, artwork, and I'm just going to draw across it and select it. I'm going to use my keyboard, Control Copy, and then I'm going to close it because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to paste it right into um, the drawing. Now, um, interesting uh, thing here is that um, you'll notice, yeah, that I've got it right off of that. I'm going to pull it right in. And then I'm going to whoops, create this. And um, I've got it now sized the way I want it because I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this and I'm going to flip it. So um, basically now that I've got it sized, I'm going to go up to Object and I'm going to Transform. I'm going to use the Reflect um, option. You'll see that it reflected it. I'm going to copy it. And so now I'm going to place it. So now I have two opposites of, uh, of my label, two parts of my label done. The next part is I'm going to use another interesting tool. Um, it's going to, I'm going to use the line segment, but I'm going to create from my brushes. So I, what I want to do is I want to create, um, <clears throat> use one of my brushes here, um, basically a decorative brush. And I don't see it on my list. So what I'm going to have to do is open up the brush um, library. And you'll see there's a little triangle on the far right-hand side of that menu. So I'm going to open the brush library come down to decorative and I want a decorative banner or seal. And so I see there's my decorative banners that are built into Illustrator. I'm going to click on this, this kind of nice one. The minute I click on it, you'll notice that it shows up now on my uh, whoopsie daisy. It shows up on my palette. So I'm going to close that just a second. And um, I have a little blip, blip there in my computer. Sorry about that. Um, and so now what I want to do is I need to draw it onto my label. So I'm going to use the line tool and I'm just going to start from one end about as far as I want it to go. I'm going to draw straight across. And I've got a line there. And so once I click um, on the banner itself, you see that it sizes. Now the line tool creates a stroke size. I don't quite want it to be quite that thick. So what I'm going to do is drop that down just a little bit. But it's still in about the same position, so that's good. And I can adjust it just a little bit so that the little decorative area there at the top is right in between my um, two decorations there at the top of the label. Now I'm ready to put my text in. And so that little banner is going to say fine wine. Okay. And so then I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to go up to my text top there and I'm going to. I think I'm going to pick a nice serif, and I'm probably going to go with um, Century School Book. Here again, you can pick whatever you'd like. So from that aspect, might make it bold, just so that it stands up a little bit. I'm going to click on my Select tool a little bit, and then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to drag it out so that it's a little bit bigger, and then move it up here. put that into my label. Then underneath my label I'm going to name this wine and it's going to be a Cab Cabernet S-A-V-E hope I've got that spelled right. And um, then I'm going to let this text, I'm going to create it and I'm going to pick a purple color because that kind of match my bottle there. And same thing, I'm going to pull it up into the label and resize it so that it kind of fits. And I think what we'll do there is we're going to do bold and make it italic so that it kind of matches. So now I've got my, I basically have my label done. I'll probably make this label a little thinner too. So once I have it set up here, I need to convert it now to a, um, a symbol. So I'm going to grab, drag across of it. Excuse me, I'm going to drag across it to make sure I've got all the parts. And I'm going to group them just to keep them all together. 
I'm going to open up my symbol um, palette and I'm going to add the symbol. And it brings up the symbol menu there. And I'm going to call this the label. And I don't need a movie clip, I need a graphic because we're going to be um, mapping this graphic to um, our spell label right there. There we go. And so once I've done that, you'll notice that now it shows up on my symbol layer. So now I'm really done with it. I could delete it if I wanted to because I don't need it anymore. Because where what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my bottle and I'm going to come back and I'm going to look for the appearance menu. And in the appearance menu, it, it whatever you click on, when you click on appearance, it goes ahead and it gives you the list of, of information or for everything that you've got there. I'm going to click on the 3D Revolve, which is what we were using. And I'm going to move this around here. And I'm going to map the art. And so basically now it brings up another menu and I've got five choices here of where I can place this art and how I can uh, put it up there. This particular one um, gives me, what's four? Oh, four is a different part of it. Okay, there we go. It gives me a chance now to map it. You'll notice that my bottle, um, I've got different areas there. I'm not exactly sure what those stand for, but just know that that's different, a different part of the bottle. So if I come down here at the bottom of my, there it is, I can put my label. So let's move the label over here so that it's kind of right in the middle of where that bottle is. Let's preview that. And I should be able to see that. Let's see if it'll let me. It won't let me yet, so let's go ahead and say OK. Okay, let's go ahead and map the art. And let's minimize that so I can see it. And sure enough, there is my label. So if I click on that, click on that map again just to do it so you can kind of see where we we want to preview. And it gives me a chance to map the art. And these are my different areas. And so you can kind of see now from a preview standpoint that what it's doing with these lines is it's giving you a chance to map the art there. Okay? And so I can adjust it, maybe fine tune it if I need to. and then say OK, and OK, and sure enough, there we have it. Our, our, uh, we started with our um, half drawing of a wine bottle, and now we have um, our 3D bottle with its label mapped. Anyway, that's all, and um, more to come. Thank you. Bye.